<laughs> well, anyway, a lot of people had parties to watch this special because Fox, they get the word out, and a lot of people are getting into this program. So people had parties, and our own Max Weinberg was no exception. He had a party because, you know, to watch, uh, so everyone could watch this, uh, this Fox uh, celebrity boxing. And uh, someone was there, and they took a lot of pictures. And uh, we just got the pictures back because we took them to this Our Photo place this morning. And I thought, instead of just looking at these myself, shouldn't we share all of these right now? <laughs> all right. I think that'll be fun. We're going to look at these right now, these photos. It's a little segment I'm going to call Celebrity Boxing Party Photos. All right, these are great uh, photos. Uh, to begin, here's a shot of Max ready to host the party. There he is. That's how Max stands when no one's around. Uh, Joel and I arrive together. Joel, our announcer. That's how Joel and I enter a room. <laughs> then Max said, all right, let the party begin. But Joel and I didn't share Max's enthusiasm. Then I said, where is everybody? And Joel said, you invited more people, didn't you? But Max said, nope, tonight it's just the three buddies. Joel then yelled, the three of us getting together is not a party. And then he added, we don't even like each other. So Max said, but we talk all the time on the show. So Joel pointed out that we talk on the show because it's on cue cards. Max then said, well, we're talking now, aren't we? And Joel said, that's because this is on cue cards. <laughs> so I then asked the cue card guy to leave. <laughs> and, uh... and assured everyone that we'd be able to find something to talk about. Because I'm a peacemaker. Then I started looking around Max's apartment. It was creepy. He had lots of photos of himself lying around. He had bonded shackles on the wall that were strewn together with roses. He had lots of cans of something called booty lube. It's the generic brand. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, and behind the couch, I found a love doll wearing a t-shirt that said Matt Lauer. And that... I'm with you on that one, man. I don't know what Max's problem is. Joel asked Max how his wife puts up with his crazy lifestyle. Max then opened the closet and said, my wife doesn't complain about a thing. She's, she's looking good, Max. Yeah. Then it was time to watch the fights. We wanted to create... Yep, that's us looking at the time, folks. We wanted to create a real fight atmosphere, so we all got in the mood. Max dressed up like an old-time fight manager. Joel dressed up as the woman that announces the rounds. And I showed everyone where Mike Tyson bit off my toes. Joel then asked why none of us had been asked to participate in celebrity boxing. Then he pointed at Max and said, in your case, it's easy. You're not a celebrity. This made Max cry. I cheered him up, telling him he was a celebrity. And to prove it, I showed him he was on the cover of this month's Douchebag magazine. I, uh... I then said they didn't ask me to box because I have a certain health condition. Then Max said, I didn't know you were sick. I then assured Max, I'm not sick. I just don't have any biceps. And... Yeah. We pat out the suit, folks. 
Joel then showed off his physique. <laughs> I'm back now. Uh, Max and I stared in horror. Joel then decided he wanted to place a bet, so he called his bookie and bet everything he had on Horshack. <laughs> Unfortunately, Horshack was immediately beaten senseless by Screech, so Joel hung himself. <laughs> All this made me very depressed. So I started pounding a bottle of 10 High Whiskey. The, uh, the first bottle was good. But I assure you, the second bottle was better. <laughs> Just then, there was a knock on the door. Huh? <laughs> oh, there's Joel. <laughs> good to see. It's good to see he's still in the photo. There was a knock at the door. It was Mel Gibson and Carol Channing. <laughs> They're an item, apparently. Uh, I told Carol she looked terrific for someone so old and slapped her on the back. Unfortunately, this made all her skin fall off. <laughs> then I pointed at Mel Gibson and said, your latest movie, We Were Soldiers, should have been called, We Are Boring. <laughs> then I said, get it, boring, instead of soldiers, I said, boring. <laughs> Mel Gibson then punched the jawbone out of my head. He never loses that smile, does he? Which, which, by the way, left me unable to speak. Well, Mel Gibson waved a happy goodbye. And all in all, it was a great evening. We had a really good time. It's nice to open up once in a while. And you have to get a new apartment. That's the dingiest place I've ever seen. Oh, All right, we'll